hello everyone welcome to this bit youtube channel and this video will be focused on the solution oriented basically for the react and the sas compatibility you know what people we will learn how we can compatible or make this sas compatible with any version of react so right now what i what i will show you i have installed the recent version of the react which is the react 4.0.1 4 okay react script as you can see the 17.0.1 and you know and here when i try to use the uh, this sas it says that the sas version the node sas is incompatible with the recent or the latest version of this react script okay and and it was quite frustrating for me because i always uh, create my styling with the help of the css uh, with the help of the sas not with the help of the css because this gave me uh, some power okay so this gave me some power that i that i can't experience with the help of this uh, this css so I, I always wanted to use this sas in my in my in my react project so how we can do that how you can uh, uh, mean install this as this way that it it work with all the versions of the react whether uh, it's the latest or the old one or the obsolete okay so let me show you how, uh, what you can do okay so let me add one terminal over here okay so in the first of all what i did i i just uh, install the uh, i just install the node sas okay along with that i install the sas loader okay sas loader and and and, and i try to just uh, run and it always and it says that compilation fail the node says is incompatible with the recent version of react script okay so it says that you can uh, i mean downgrade your react script or uh, you can uh, or you, you can leave it so what i what i said i will not downgrade my react script so what i said that i, I have uninstalled okay i have uninstalled this node says so the the command is simple okay i have on i have uninstalled the no a uh, node says okay uh, along along uh, no i have just install uh, uninstall the node sas only okay so this is the thing so you know now uh, i i got the idea about installing the sas so i have installed the sas so npn i sas okay we got we got the idea about the sas so you in this way you can install the sas and this sas is different from the node sas node sas basically come with the with the module okay node, node modules okay and it will be placed also be played inside the node module of of, of this a uh, react file so what i what i mean by that it will be placed inside the node module but right now as you can see in the in the oops so i did something no okay <clears throat> so as you can see i have installed this sas okay i have installed this sas in my dependency and you, you can also save uh, the react okay i mean the sas in something like this way say so, okay you you can go this way basically uh, this dash save means you can install or, or you can install your sas in the dependency dev dependency okay so what what i mean by that okay so right now as you can see my dev dependency is empty okay i have installed directly in the in, in the, into the dependency okay so that the, the sas one now you know now uh, what now how you can com make sas compatible with the react so the simple what you have to do wherever, wherever you see the css just replace that css with the dot as css and there you go you can do anything okay that you that you can do in the sas file okay and this will work com uh, fine so let me show you the one example so basically this is a variable in the css okay dot as uh, sas okay so i have used this variable over here. you know you can also use this uh, the variable in the css but it quite look uh, i mean verbose okay it's quite clumsy but it's very simple just array assign the value to the variable and you can use a multi multi i mean wherever you like okay so this is uh, really short and sweet okay so let me show you the live demonstration of that and before that let me also show you that i am i am running my server okay i am running my server on this port 3000 okay so let me do, uh, open up my uh, server okay so as you can see we have a local host 3000 this is the thing and as you can see in the body of the back uh, the background color of the body is orange and it, and it is because of this so let me change it to something else color like green okay <laughs> that's not what i wanted okay green so when i save it okay it will reflect in, uh, in the web browser okay so as you can see oh, this css is or uh, this sas is working very fine even if i'm using the latest version of the react okay so the <clears throat> so let me uh, i mean revert back okay that's fine that was fine okay i just love this orange okay so as you can see this this thing is working now now and it does not now you are completely free of the fact that you don't need any 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 of the you don't need to worry about the 
version of the react it will work with any version you you, you want okay so from the latest to the obsolete one so basically this this way you can make compatible your react with the sas okay and the, and this, and this is easy okay this is really easy and uh, and also people let me also remind you of the uh, of the fact that if you are having trouble in the npm start i have already built the video on that the, the, you can find the npm start uh, issues solved in the description box below okay so okay and, and let me people also show you something like how i made this basic program this is uh, really a i mean a good basic uh, program for the for the for the react beginners okay what i have done i have used the make the use of like router okay react dash router dash dom so let me show you something like uh, i will just when i say the slash about okay you can say i have re re redirected to the another page that is the about section now let me just go for my um, contact section and i will go there okay okay so you know if anyone or if i just uh, say any unnecessary uh, right an unnecessary thing in, in the url i will be redirected to the home page this is just a basic thing okay i will show you the code as well in the same video okay now let me show you the code of the of this okay let me uh, uh, let's zoom this okay so here i have i have the components okay so better uh, in component there is, there is just nothing okay the main thing is present in the app.jsx okay so i but i have used the react router dom so where i have used the switch route and redirect okay and uh, as you can see over let me get rid of this okay so here we have the path okay so as uh, on the uh, when whenever we load our uh, whenever we see the web browser it will show you the home component the the default one the default route the blocks this we have used the exact path okay and if anyone write some unnecessary thing then it will be redirected to this home path okay as you can see and this is being possible with the help of the switch okay switch uh, which you can find in the react router dom okay and let me also show you the index.js page how it looks okay so let me show you and there also we will see that we have used the index.scss okay that effect was happening just because importing this file okay scss now you in react you don't need to uh, i mean look for watch or anything you can directly use this uh, uh, index.scss and you know what and everything will happen automatically uh, in, inside okay so i have imported the one more thing that is the browser or router so if you want to switch from one page to another and you need to write that component inside the browser or router i have everything is present inside the app so i have just written the, the app inside the browser and everything will come automatically okay so this is the thing and all this thing uh, is being i mean uh, injected in the get element by id root okay that you already know that is present in the oops okay uh, present in the in the public folder okay so index.html so there we go okay it all everything will get injected over here okay so that was the basic intro about, about this thing and also you have learned how you can i mean uh, make your sas compatible with any version of, of the of the react okay node sas won't work okay uh, it will work in the future i'm not saying that it will never work it will work okay the people who are working on that okay they they, they will do something uh, suddenly okay after two few, few months after uh, some uh, after some months we can use that node sas as well but right now uh, as it is not done you can use this sas and this will work okay in the future i think as well okay so this is it i have just shown you how you can uh, come i mean uh, make your uh, sas with the react uh, also you you have seen uh, the basic project okay basically this is for the beginner only okay i, I don't I, I don't want to show this to the expert because they already know how to do the all these things okay so thank you so much people i hope you enjoy this video okay so give a thumbs up okay and this uh, and also remember to subscribe our channel because we post three four types of videos like cpps concept oriented progress oriented project oriented and solution oriented and this was video this video belongs to the solution oriented okay so i hope you, you people enjoyed you you got your issues solved okay so thank you so much or if you want to ask anything like uh, extra if you're facing any other issues and just comment it down i will try to solve it by making the videos like this useful videos like this thank you so much people bye bye